Tell me, where is Nageki? Nageki points his gun at the immobilized doctor. He looks quite prepared to shoot that Patrick's dead at any moment. Oh, is that it? I had quite forgotten. Mr. Fujoshiro's brother. <gasps> he was a quail! Oh no! Is Hattori like Nadeki? Mr. Kazuwaki? Oh god. Should I use my voice? You know what? Let's use this voice. Nigeki, are you by yourself here again? You should play in the park with everyone else. I'm fine. I would just get tired. Isn't talking to me a waste of time, Hitori? <gasps> that reminds me of something else, but I won't tell you anything about it. You've been busy recently, have you not? I know we're short on money. That's not something you should- you need to worry about. We adults are working hard to make sure you don't have to worry. You're a child too, Hitori. You're only five years older than me, after all. You don't think I should be working? No, that's not what I meant. I am not crying, it's just my contact's killing my eye for some reason. I just, I can't do anything. I at least want to stay out of your way. It's not whether you're doing anything or not. You're part of the family and we need you. That doesn't help. With my body like this, I can't work or go to school. That's just how it is. You're thinking too hard, Nageki. Let's go pick some millet in this in the yard. It's almost dinner time. A full stomach scares the bad things away, right? Oh, my eyeball! No, my pen! Ah, oh, pen! Pen, come back! I'm sorry. September second. 2180. At a full house. Oh no! Where the rest of the war orphans and I live together. I was always a little better at studying than the others, so I teach the local school to help make ends meet. Going to work and coming home. Every Friday, we all gather together and have supper. There are children who go to school. There are those who work, like me. And children like Nikaki who stay home. Our family is a patchwork of ages and lives, but we always eat together on this day. What should we have? We might have enough left over. Or we could pool our money and buy something. I had more work than usual last month, so I got a paid a little more than usual. I'll get something nice. I'll head home and see what everyone wants first. But this day was different. Our home was surrounded by security vehicles. It's an attack by a human liberation front. We can't let anybody in. We sent two human negotiators, but they were shot. We're going to storm the place. Get back! It's dangerous! Hey you! Are you listening? I remember angry shouts coming from every direction. But I couldn't tell what they were saying. The only thing I could focus on were the gunshots from inside. Today was supposed to be our day. No one has ever been missing on a Friday before. No one can disappear today. We have to be together today. No matter what. Oh god. Oh, leaky eye, leaky eye. Which is not from tears or sadness. But it is tears and sadness. When I went inside, the gunshot had stopped. And all that was left were corpses and ruin and... Ah! 
everyone. Everyone is covered in blood. Immobile. The humans, the security forces, and my family. What did we do? We had nothing. Our parents and our homes had already been stolen by the humans. All we had left were each other. Why do they have to keep stealing from us? Why? Why? Hitari... You were outside. Good. Nikaki, you're alive! Everyone else? I see. Nikaki was hiding in the innermost room. He must have heard everything from inside his hiding place. Human corpses were are scattered throughout the room. Nikaki, were you afraid? I'm sorry! It wasn't your fault, Hitori. I wasn't here when you needed me! Don't apologize, Hitori. I don't know how I could live if you were gone too. When I found him, then I didn't notice blood. None of the human corpses in that room have been shot. Oh. This will be our room from now on. The house is too big for just the two of us. Right. It's a little lonely. Yes. Hey, Tori, what should I do? Oh, wait. Sorry! Hey, Tori, what should I do? Isn't there anything I can do to help? You just have to be happy and well. Don't push yourself. We'll find something for you to do, okay? Oh, God. Sorry. I noticed as soon as we moved out of Hatiful House. He was never very healthy to begin with, but he was getting worse and worse. What would start out as a slight cold would turn into a high fever and go on for days. It was painful to watch. Was it really just his weak body? I couldn't do anything. Should we get the doctor, Nikaki? I'm... Fine. I'm fine. Nikaki, wait! You still have a fever! Don't worry about the dishes, I'll take care of them. I told you, I'm fine. Don't. If you just say how you feel outright, I'll feel better too, Nikaki. Okay? But... How about this? From now on, I'm fine isn't allowed. What do you... Whatever you say, you're fine. You never are. Oh, okay. Go to bed for now, okay? Tomorrow, I'm taking you to the doctor. Oh, God. I'm hoping this is the right voice. This is highly unusual. Nagaki has a genetic condition which impairs his immune system. Impairs his immune system? All living creatures inherit defense systems against viruses and like from their parents, and we call them the immune system. But Nikaki's as is an abnormally weak. Is that why he gets sick easily? Indeed. He can become infected with disease that bodies such as yours are or mine would fight up easily. It's probably best if he avoids going outside, as that could bring him into contact with more dangerous viruses. He could become seriously ill with little or no warning. Please, can you cure him? I'll find whatever money it takes. He's the only family I have left. I understand how you feel, but as I said, his condition is hereditary. I have never seen anything like it. I'm sorry, but I can't help him. We went to many hospitals and talked to many doctors. They all said the same thing. I can't help him. Someone, please, save Nagaki. Anyone. I'll do anything. We had been all alone, but we found a home together. And it was taken from us. And now, this? Someone, please, help us. So, Nagaki's the one in the photo. Oh boy.
Soon after the start of 2183, a letter arrived. It was from a res researcher at the St. Pigeonation Medical Institute, uh, Mr. Iza Soma. <sighs> okay, let's go with the doctor's voice. I have received a report about the boy named Fujoshiro Nageki from a doctor at a certain hospital. I believe I know what his condition is. It is extremely rare, so my fellow researcher and I would be grateful for a chance to assist in curing it. We hereby invite him to come study at St. Pigeonations. We believe that solving the riddle of his sickness will bring great advance to all bird science. The medical center will pay for his tuition. St. Pigeonation is a school of great prestige. Our curricula and facilities are among the best in the world. The medical center is located on the school grounds. We propose that he live in the center after concern for his delicate health. He will have access to professional medical expertise any time he should need it. Please consult with the rest of your family. If you are interested, contact me at the following address. I will be waiting. Isa Soma. Oh boy. This is amazing, Nagiki! I'm glad we went to so many hospitals! I never expected an invitation like this! I don't want to go. I want to stay with you, Hitori. But you'll be able to go to school! I can only teach you what I know, and there's a lot that I don't know! And you'll be able to make friends! The doctors will, will help your illness, so you won't have to be sick! Do you not... Want me here, Hitori? Of course I do! But I'm worried. If you were to get really sick, I wouldn't be able to do anything. I think it would be better for you to stay with the doctors. I'll be lonely by myself, but I can wait until you're better. Become strong, Nageki, and then come back here. I'll wait for you, however long it takes. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Oh no, it's- everything is a tragedy. Everything is a tragedy. Nobody has a good ending. Nobody has a happy ending. And so Nageki enrolled in St. Pigeonations. There had been a lot of us at Hatiful House, and after that, I was with Nageki. Nageki. I was lonely- I was lonely living by myself for the first time, but I was more worried about Nageki. I hope he's making good friends, but he's never been very sociable. At least, he will have an easier life there than here. And most importantly, they'll be looking for a cure! Oh no. The summer of that year, he sent a lot of letters home. I'm going to under- I'm going to be undergoing intensive treatment over the summer. I want to come home, but they said this would be better for me. How are you? I'll write soon- again soon. I asked Dr. Isa about a meeting, but he said no. I'm not only one here with an unusual illness, and they have to be very careful about who comes in. Summer- summer's half over now. Is it hot out? The basement of the center is always the same light and the same temperature. I miss you, Itori. I'm fine. I'm fine, Hitori. Don't worry about me. I was worried. Nagagi hadn't told me he was fine since he promised not two, three years ago. What are they doing to him? Are they doing something bad to him? I tried calling Dr. Iza, but he always replied with, Progress is good and everything is fine. If everything is fine, why won't they let me talk to him? I snuck into the medical center. I need to know if he's really alright. He said that he was undergoing intensive care in the basement. That must be where he is. How do I get there? I need to... I need to... The, need to find the entrance to the basement. Oh god. He, that was what I heard the alarm. 
I could hear urgent footsteps and the sound of wings. This building has all the most advanced equipment. They must have noticed me. But I was greeted at the corner not by guards, but by panicked researchers. All shouting the same thing, all heading for the exit. Fire! Fire! Shut up. Sorry. What? A fire! Subject zero zero set a fire! Call the fire department! Black smoke rolls towards me from the inner corridors. Negaki, where is Negaki? Negaki, Negaki, say something, please. Where are you? Oh no, it's happening again. Negaki needs me, and I'm not there. I always leave him alone when he's in pain. The smoke is clogging my lungs when, with its foul stench, but I run onwards anyway. Negaki is there in a room filled with fire. Oh no, Negaki. Negaki, it's me! Hattori, I'm here to save you! Hattori! What happened? What did you- What did they do to you? Come on, we have to get out of here! I'm sorry. His face is clouded. He shut the door and I hear the lock click shut. Open the door, Negaki! Hattori, I can't go outside anymore. I can't live anymore. What did they do to you? I'm a fool. All this time I thought you were getting better. Thought you'd come home cured. I should be the one apologizing. Negaki, please. Come home with me to our home. Listen, Hattori. I recorded everything that happened here and hid it in the library. It's wrong. This is the only way to stop them. What are you talking about? Oh, God. I don't know. Either it's my eye hurting or I'm crying. I think my eye is hurting. One second. Hello, I has returned with glasses this time because my eyes were kind of getting tired of the context right at that moment. What are you talking about? We can talk later. I can't let you die. Can you do me a favor, Tori? Anything, please. Please! Please? Make sure there is nothing left of my body. And... Unzo Hitori. I had heard that he died after the fire, but it would seem that our investigation was lacking. It is oddly easy to change your name and face. Negaki! He's calling. He's calling me, you know. Iza, I came to greet Negaki. Where is he? I see you are losing hold of your sanity. I'm serious! I've been waiting for this from the beginning. He told me what you were doing to him here. But then you closed the facility. I've been waiting for this, Isa. Waiting for you to open this place again. Ever since I joined this faculty. He's still here, isn't he? Negaki. There is indeed some pieces of him left after the fire. They would have degraded in mere hours had I left them. If it pleases you to call those bits of meat. Fujoshiro Negaki, I will not attempt to stop you. But those pieces have already been transferred to Mr. Kawara's body. God! You won't die just yet, Iza. Don't worry. Don't worry. So tell me, where is Negaki? I have to take him home now. If by Negeki you mean what was left of him after the fire, then it is Mr. Goara's liver. The cells from his body that contained the Koron Charen virus are now inside Mr. Goara, parasit parasitizing him. Oh, is that it? I see. Thank you, Isa. Hang on just a little longer, Isa. I need to ask Nikaki what he thinks we should do with you. 
Mr. Nanaki come over to me. The same soft smile on his face as when he teaches class. Can you hear me, Nikaki? I'm sorry I made you wait so long. I'm here now. Sir, it's me, Kawara Ryota, from your class! Please snap out of it! I don't know what happened in the past, Nanaki, but this is not the time for such foolery! We have only a few minutes before the humans enter the gra school grounds. It won't take them long to find this place. Mm, could you move over for a second, Shiragane? I need to talk to Kuwara. He points the gun at Sukuya. <sighs> okay! Sukuya, he's serious! It's too noisy in here. Come on, Kuwara. Let's go in that room. Just the two of us. Oh my god, I know you really, really want to want to talk to Nikaki, but this is really nuts, sir. Uh, 